Oh Lord, I want to weep to guide my feet. Oh Lord, I want to weep to guide my hands. Oh Lord, I want to weep to hold my eyes so the world won't do me no harm. Oh Lord, I want to weep to guide my feet. Oh Lord, I want to weep. To guide my hands, oh Lord, I want to weep, to hold my eyes, so the world won't do me no harm. Oh Lord, I want to weep, to guide my feet, oh Lord, I want to weep, to guide my hands, oh Lord, I want to weep, to hold my eyes. So the world won't do me no harm. Oh Lord, I want to weep to guide my feet. Oh Lord, I want to weep to guide my hands. Oh Lord, I want to weep to hold my eyes. So the world won't do me no harm. I know what the caged bird feels on me when the sun is bright on the upland slopes, when the wind blows soft through the springing grass, and the river floats like a sheet of glass, when the first bird sings and the first bud opes, and the faint perfume from its chalice steals. I know what the cage bird feels. I know why the cage bird sings on me. When its wings are bruised and its bosom sore, it beats its bars and will be free. It's not a carol of joy or glee, but a prayer that it sends from its heart's deep core, but a plea that upward to heaven it flings. I know why the caged bird A free bird jumps on the back of the wind and floats downstream till the currents end and, and dips its wings in the bright sun rays and dares to claim the sky. But a caged bird stands on the grave of dreams, often shouting a nightmare scream. It's Wings are clipped, its feet are tied, so it opens its mouth to sing. The cage bird sings with a fearful trick of things unknown but long for still. And its song is heard on a distant hill, for the caged bird sings of freedom. A free bird thinks of another breeze and the trade winds soft through the sighing trees and fat worms waiting on a dawn bright lawn and it names the sky its own but a caged bird stands on the grave of dreams shadows shouting a nightmare scream its wings are clipped its feet are tied so it opens its mouth to sing the caged bird sings with a fearful fit of things unknown that long far still. And its voice is heard on the distant hill, throughout the land, throughout the air, across the oceans, across centuries, across centuries, across, in fact, continents, and across ignorance, across hate. Because the Kingsbury things of freedom. <laughs>